Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to learn the HTML that is dynamic HTML, which is just a combination of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So basically, the main problem with the HTML, which is introduced in the 4.0 series of the web browsers, is its compatibility. It uh, there are certain uh, problems with the compatibility uh, with the different browsers for the DHTML. That is the main problem of DHTML. So the main focus generally when speaking of DHTML is animation and such other dynamic effects. Like you want to create galleries or you want to create like certain dynamic uh, aspects of your HTML. Like you want to change certain CSS properties with the help of JavaScript in your HTML. So uh, that we are creating a combination of all HTML, CSS and JavaScript. We can obtain reference of any HTML or CSS element in JavaScript using three below methods as we already have learned that is document.getElement by ID, document.getElements by name and get elements by tag name. So these are the three methods which we can use as we already have learned that particular part in our DOM, right? So after obtaining the reference of the element, you can change the attributes of the same using the reference dot attribute syntax. So once we get the reference of any element, we can access all its property with the help of reference dot attribute syntax. When we are going to do it practically, you will understand it better. For example, we have an image and with the ID my image. So when we get the reference of that particular uh, element document dot get element by ID my image and then we have a reference a with the help of this reference a we can access all its attributes. For example, we want to access SRC then we can uh, access a dot SRC equal to XYZ dot JPG. So it will change its image from ABC dot JPG to XYZ dot JPG. So this is how it will work we can change the any kind of attributes of that particular element okay and we can also access style element we'll see that how we can change the css of that particular element let's see an example for that for example we have one division over here we have one division over here with id div1 and we'll provide certain css to that I'm going to uh, demonstrate how we can access all these CSS, HTML and JavaScript with the help of DHTML. So here, as this is an ID, we can get the reference in CSS with the help of has. And here we can specify the width property to be, uh, for example, 100 pixel, height property to be 100 pixel, and background color property to be red. For example, we have created something like this and when we run this particular file, when we run this particular file, we have certain division with 100 into 100 length and width and red background. What we can do now with the help of dynamic HTML or we can say we can, uh, we can create one button and on click event as we know, we can specify an event and on that particular event when the button is clicked we'll specify value let's say we'll give you value as a change and change width or change size we are calling one function change size on click of that particular button right so when we specify change size here we can specify a function inside our head sorry function inside our head with change size is the name of the function and here what we can do we can get the reference of our div let's say d1 equal to document dot get element by id and here i will specify the id of our division right here now for example i want to access the properties of this particular div maybe any attribute like we have a style attribute for example here, if I specify width to be 200 pixel, for example, width of that particular div to be 200 pixel. So I want to access this particular attribute first, which what I want to access is style. So here I can simply write d1 dot style. 
right d1 dot style then i want to access again a property width so i can still specify d1 dot style dot width and i can specify the value over here i can specify the value over here the value which i want to set for the width of style of d1 something like this and if i don't specify here so again it will access the d1 division 1 it will what it will do dynamically is it will put style over here then it will put width property over here and it will set its value to be 300 pixel so this is how dhtml works we are going we are changing style property css property with the help of javascript of html element let's see when when we run this particular file when i click here it will change its property like it was initially 100 pixel but when i click here it will become 300 pixel so this is how we can do with the help of javascript css and html this is one part of what dhtml is right we can definitely set certain uh, like fields or certain more dynamic uh, aspects with it for example i don't want that to be fixed to 300 pixel let's see what i want is i want animation over here look here when i click here it will directly become 300 pixel but i don't want something like that i want that to be animated like from 100 to 300 with some animation right so for that what we can do is we can create one function start animation if we can provide any name to it we can provide any name to it and when we click on the button instead of directly change size we can specify a function start animation on the click okay here what we can do is now from this particular function we can set interval we can call one function set interval set interval is a function which start an interval and over uh, like a fixed amount of time after every fixed amount of time it will call certain function constantly right so i want to call change size function every one second for example every one second this is millisecond every one second i want to call this particular function and what i can do is i will create a variable variable uh, d1 width initially was 100 initially it was 100 and i can specify here d1 width plus pixel because i want to con i need to concat px over there right but after uh, like before applying that with that i'll imp increment it by 10 every time the function will be called every time the function will be called it will increment d1 width to be a uh, width 10 and then it will set the value right after every second what we are going again we are uh, re uh, like refreshing what we have done we have called a function start animation on a click event on that particular button and on that function we have set one interval like after every second we want to call change size function on the change size function we are incrementing d1 width by 10 and then we are assigning that width to our d1 right so when we are running this file after every second it will increment 10 pixel as you can see on every 10 second it will increment the value of that particular width to be 10 pixel till when it will be infinite because we haven't set any specific limit here we can set a limit like if if d1 width is greater than 300 sorry 300 we can reset it with 100 okay and that we can specify after here so and we are increasing the speed we are increasing the speed right after every 100 millisecond it will increment and will reset right will reset something like this we can create an emission but you can see here the steps are bigger so it will like create a jitter over there so what we can do is we'll increment it by one only plus plus but we are increasing the speed over here let's see how it runs it will be a smoother 
like animation if we uh, do certain aspects with that it will be a smoother if you want to increase the speed we can set it to be cold every 5 millisecond so this is how we can use a dynamic aspects of html css and javascript to create certain animations right okay now some more properties let's see some more properties if we for example if i want to create some animation or a slide show like i want to create a slide show then what i can do is i will create an image image src i will uh, take it as a blank my img right and what i want is i can use body on load event body on load that means when your html is loaded it will call certain function start animation for example we can we are calling same function here and we are creating that function start animation and here we want to start certain animation with our image right we'll start an animation with our image initially we want certain images of animation i want i want that image to move in my screen or i want to create some uh, screen saver for example right so what i can do here the start animation will be called on load here i can set interval and i can like move image i call one method move image after every 10 milliseconds right so i'll create one method function move image and inside that i'll like get the reference of my image right i'll create a reference of my image i1 equal to document dot get element by id and here i'll specify my image so before starting with this i need to specify certain styles to that because i want to uh, when i want to change the position of that i need to specify its position inside my css initial position so i'll set position to be absolute initial top to be like uh, 20 pixel initial left position to be 20 pixel for example initially left and top i am setting with 20 20 and i'll create a variable for that i top initial top would be 20 and variable i left to be 20 again ready so every time move image is called i am increasing i top by 1 same way i left by 1 and if okay now we are going to use one more uh, aspect of your uh, javascript which is screen in a dom we have one screen object as we have seen we can get the available height and available width using the screen object right so we can use something like this screen dot avail height screen dot avail height if your screen dot avail height is less than less than i top for example when we increment and our i top become more than your available height then what you want is you want to set your i top to be zero i top to be zero we are resetting i top to zero once you uh, reach the available height and if available width is greater than left we are setting i left to be zero and after getting the reference of i1 dot style dot left we are setting with i left and i1 dot style dot top we are setting with i top so this is how we are creating one uh, function in which we have two increments and if it reaches the limit for example available height will return you from here till here when it will reach the here it will reset to zero so this is how it works and don't forget here we need to concat we need to concat px for pixels we need to concat px don't forget that and when we run this particular file 
it will start incrementing one uh, on the top and one on the left and once it, it will reach at the uh, bottom its top it will start from the top so this is how we can create a cool screen saver by yourself using the dhtml right this is how it will work and it will uh, like create one screen saver you can uh, do any kind of animation over there and many cool stuffs you can do with the help of dhtml and uh, in the next session we are going to learn many more kind of events for example here we have used an event on load there are many more events some are with the form some are with the division some are with the inputs uh, mouse events keyboard events there are many kind of events which we are going to learn in the next session okay thank you